Hi, it's David from Electric Teaching, and this is part two of making your own personal grapher with Python and Pygame. Uh, so far, all we've done is created, uh, imported the necessary library Pygame, initialized it, set up some variables, fonts, and some colors. And instead of putting um, the uh, screen and setting up the window for making our game, or excuse me, I'm used to making a game, making our program here. Um, what we've done is we've taken it outside of the any of the functions so that we don't have to globalize these variables. Sometimes it's good to have this in a function, but what I'm trying to do is prevent uh, the unnecessary globalizing or passing of variables here. <clears throat> we make a window that's 500 by 500 with an extra 400 in the width. So technically it's 900 across and 500 tall and we fill it with white and then we simply all we've done is put in a little main routine with an infinite loop that is exited right here is where we exit the loop upon the quit command which is clicking on the red x or if you're on a mac the red uh, close function on the left so now let's do the grid i'm going to do the graph paper grid when i say the grid i mean the graph paper I, um, so what I want to do is I want to have the graph paper function be outside of my main function. I want it to load up immediately. So what I'm going to do is put it up above this point. Let's get a label. Okay, this will be my oh, graph paper function. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to define it. We'll define it as a graph paper and I am going to pass a variable to it. I am going to pass um, the K. Uh, I'll explain what K is. So I'm going to put in the letter K inside of the parentheses to be a variable passed into it. Colon, hit return. I'll explain what K is in a minute. In fact, actually, let's do that right now. Let's set up K right here in the main. Right here in the main first thing we want to do actually let's label the main also haven't done a little labeling on this so the main routine I often call it routine function um, that runs the program that's pretty much what this does so it's the first thing we call up and we often recall it back up to later you'll see to when we make new graphs we need to know how many pixels, this is what K is, how many pixels um, per grid, per grid or per, per unit on our graph paper. So that's what K is. So this is pixels per grid, per unit grid. And I'm simply going to start off with K equal 25 pixels. You can have the spaces um, around the equal or not around the equal. That is something that is not picky by Python, but be careful of spaces elsewhere. All right, now back up here, we're going to pass K. We're going to actually down here at the uh, right after we assign it. In fact, come back down here to our main. Might as well finish this part off here. This is where we're going to call up to make the graph paper. So we're going to call up the function graph paper, graph paper. And then we're going to pass the K value, which is 25, to it. So simply when the main runs, it calls up, it, it assigns K as 25, and it, it asks for the graph paper to be made by calling up the function up here that we're creating. So in here, let's see. We need to clip the screen. Clip the screen because we don't want to, um, we don't want it to affect the the uh, information on the right hand side so um, there's a neat function okay if I go screen that's the window I'm making set clip set underscore clip basically clipping part of the window and then only working in this part of the window and not touching any other part of the window and what I wanted to do is go from the upper left hand corner zero comma zero we're going to get in some mathematics here. The upper left-hand corner is basically origin. So way up here, right around, if you can see my mouse, that's 0, 0. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to clip 
the first width and height. This is why I've separated the word width and height. Whoops, let me put that down there. Click there. Uh, clicked there accidentally. So we're going to put the width, comma, height here. And what that means is to only work with, get my spelling right, only work with that part of the window. That's what the clip function does. The extra width that I've assigned up here is 400. Um, makes it convenient to have that in a different variable because that is basically just as it's the variable says, the extra width for displaying information. Then we want to refill this white. The reason we want to refill it white, even though we've already done the fill white, is later I'm going to resize and regraph the grid. Um, and so um, I want to be able to just clip that part of it and refill it with white before it actually does make the grid. This is where we're going to draw the graph paper now. And I keep substituting the words graph paper and grid, but basically they are the same thing. So we're going to draw the graph paper here. So you use a for loop. What we're going to do is do for i. i is the variable that increments in a for loop. So i starts at 0 and then goes up to whatever value you want. And the value it goes up to is for i and the in range parentheses and what I'm going to do is say go up to width divided by 2 width divided by 2 considering up here we see the width is 500 this will basically be a loop that runs 250 times 250 times what are we going to do in this loop well I'm going to make a new variable in it each time and reassign this variable each time for graphing the lines of the grid of the graph paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say grid x is our k value times i k value times i and our grid y grid y will be k value times i as well could actually assign this a little bit uh, easier by just making an um, uh, on the same line but and say they're all equal to each other. I'll just do it this way. And now, what we're going to do is uh, uh, basically draw these lines. We're going to draw the the light blue lines that I've made up there, the color, the RGB colors up above, by using a pygame dot draw from the pygame library from the drawing section. Draw dot line. Okay things you need to be able to put up there are the attributes it's looking for when you do a pie game draw line is screen it's always the surface you're putting it on in case you have multiple surfaces in a larger program you might have that the color instead of putting the RGB color I'm just gonna do the sorry for the pause right there back to what I was doing my family needed me real quick I apologize Let's see, um, we need to put in what surface we're drawing the line to, that screen, and then what color, we're going to call that, uh, we called it grid color, comma, and then two points from where to where on the screen. And this is how we're going to use the K to make this, uh, or how we're using the grid X and grid Y, which is using the K, to make this a nice easy way of, of graphing all the lines for the graph, for the um, grid behind the graph that we're doing. Sorry for the redundancy there. Grid color. Let's see. Grid <coughs> x comma zero parentheses comma two grid x comma height. So <coughs> and then how wide, how many pixels wide. We're going to make this one pixel wide. Please excuse me. I'm not feeling well right now. Okay, so just to uh, explain what this is doing using the loop, grid x, <clears throat> please excuse me. So i is 0, so basically this is going to start with 0, 0, and it's going to start from the upper left-hand corner, 0, 0, and then draw a line to 0, comma height, which will basically draw it all the way down to the bottom. And what we're doing is we're drawing basically a grid, right, a grid line right at the left, head, left edge. Um, and then as I increments, it will continue to draw more vertical lines since the X is the same. These will be vertical lines if it's it, just like in mathematics, if X equals the same value, those will be vertical lines and it will do um, all the lines across um, uh, the, the range 
through this loop, okay? And the next thing we need to do is do the do the horizontal lines. And so it's going to be screen dot grid color again. Sometimes I copy and paste this to make sure I don't make a mistake. And to do the horizontal lines, we start at zero comma. So starting at the x coordinate of zero, grid y coordinate, grid y coordinate. So this will move down. Remember in uh, Python, y coordinates uh, get bigger as they go down. It's the opposite of mathematics. They get larger. Um, the more they go down, the y coordinates do. So this will go from zero to uh, the um, starting at zero, zero, just like before, because i starts at zero. And then it'll draw lines keeping the same exact y value, but going from the width now, spelling, get the spelling right, to grid y. So as this goes through, this will give me all the horizontal lines, and again, one pixel across. I like to put a simple line at the end, <clears throat> a simple uh, big line at the end, an extra bold line to kind of separate the grid. So out of the loop, a little comment here, and just say what this is, an extra thick line. Okay, and I'm going to put this at pi game, draw, line, same thing, screen, grid color again. And now I'm specifically going to put this from the width, comma, zero. So that'll be 500 pixels into the screen. So right at the right, uh, 500 pixels across. And then zero high, so they'll stay up top. Zero for the Y coordinate. And then from there to the bottom right-hand corner, so parentheses width, height. Now this is the bottom right-hand corner of the grid, not of the whole window. Remember, I have the extra width for the window. And I keep spelling width wrong. I'm glad I'm catching it, though. Oh, same thing here with the height. Height. Okay, hopefully you're catching the mistakes that I am as well, or before I am. And again, I'm going to make this a uh, 5 pixels. I forgot the pixel width here. So when I draw that line. So let's see if this works. I should get a nice grid going across. I'll uh, run it. Okay. Oh, I have an error. Let's see what the error is. Uh, height. Again, I'm misspelling. So I found my error, and I want to just remind you, down in the lower right, it tells you what line number you're on, and over in the shell, when you get an error, it often tells you what line the error's on. So I was trying to fix my height misspellings, and I'm sure you caught that, and I ended up actually mistakenly misspelling them when I was trying to correct them. Also, I want to make note here, we are running the loop way too many times. We need to divide it by K. So if K is 25... That means it should give me, case 25, all we need then is for a 500 width screen, we need, let's see, 25 goes into 100 four times. And so four uh, uh, hundreds go into the 500s five times. So we need 20 of those lines. So when you run the program, change this K and make sure you correct the heights if you didn't already do so, you will see that, um, uh oh. Sorry about that again. Python had a little crash. Sometimes Python does crash. Just go with the flow on it. Okay, so we now have our grid. Our grid is going 500 across, 500 down, and we do have this extra white space still left on the end to put in information. All right, all we need is our axes. It's a couple of quick lines here. Let's close the window and come back to the code, and we'll just put in our axes real quick, and we'll be done with part two. So in the same uh, graph paper, might as well put the axes here. It's a good place for it. A little a uh, little comment, line, uh, graph, x, and y axes. And let's see, I'm going to need the middle, so I'm going to do a mid x variable and make that the width divided by 2, divided by k. So I want to know how many k, how many lines are across. As, they, as, they, as I said, there were 20 lines across in the way we have our variables right now. So if I take width, divide it by k, there's our 20, and then divide it by 2, then I will have half of that, and that will get me to the middle, and that's why I call this middle x. Uh, if I'm going to divide this value by 2, it's like multiplying by 1 half, 
And so what we need to do is just put a parentheses star, two star K, and then I'm dividing by K and then cutting it in half as well. Let's get mid X and mid Y, very similar. So let's put a comma mid Y and assign it on the same line to save us the space. Very similar height, GHT, divide parentheses half after cutting, dividing it by K. So cutting, oops, star K. So same idea, cutting it in half. Now we've got the middle X and the middle Y. And now we'll just draw a big, big black line uh, down that point from top to bottom and left to right. Pi gain, draw, line, surface, screen, color, black. We've already made that variable, so we don't have to make the RGBs over again. From where to where, let's see, mid X, mid X, mid X times K. So... I've done this before where I've actually eliminated. You might feel this is redundant. It's supposed to be times K here. Okay, so if you've got a good math brain, you're going to go, wait a minute, I just divided by K, and now you're having me multiply by K. What this is doing is this is taking um, uh, integer answers and multiplying them over here and, excuse me, I had to restate that. This will... Sorry about that. A little frustrating point for me trying to remember exactly why I did this a while ago. Okay, when you divide by 2K over here you, with this width being any, um, uh, this will end up getting some decimal answers. And then what happens is, is because we're not floating them, it'll make it an integer answer. So this will actually round it, and then we need to multiply it off again. So what I've done is I've used the fact that it automatically rounds it for me to make it so that it perfectly gets on the grid nicely. I know I didn't explain that the best, but trust me, I've done it where I haven't done it, where, I have, where I've taken out the divide by K and multiply by K, and it ends up being slightly off. And so this helps keep it right on the money. Okay, so we are drawing a black line from where to where. Let's see, from that mid X times K, so how mid X, which is 10, times the K, so this is 250 pixels over, everything works out perfectly zero for the height so we're going to draw it from the top of the screen down to the bottom of the screen same x hopefully part of your mathematics is coming into your mind right now when i say same x and that's a vertical line and then we got to the bottom of the screen which is height let's make it a three pixels big make it three pixels big spacing right there is not important i'm doing it because i just like the way it looks when it's spaced out same exact command you can copy and paste it if you want depends on how fast you type i guess uh, black parentheses let's see now left edge zero halfway down mid y star k same reasoning why we have the multiply by k all the way across the screen that's the full width then comma uh, same y value mid y star k and again, let's make it three pixels big. Three pixels big. I'm a little bit nervous on why it's not the exact same length. And I think it's right. I'm just double checking it. Okay, let's run it. Let's see if I've got any mistakes. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. Okay, we need this uh, grid. And now we're ready to move on. I'm David from Electric Teaching, and I hope you're enjoying this. Sorry for the confusion and the interruptions on this video. Um, I will try to find some more isolated areas to make the rest of these videos.